Hey guys, so I'm gonna stop that for a minute so I can talk to you. So basically, I just left um, my faha massage, well, my faha, my lymphatic massage. Sorry, <laughs> um, came home, took a shower. Well, first of all, my cousin knit me out here from um. Jersey. He came out from Jersey to, to bring me a gift. He'd be surprised with me. He'd be making me feel so girly and special sometimes. I mean, he's not being mean and hateful. But I love him though. Because <laughs> he always surprises me. Okay, so he brought me a gift. Isn't it sweet? When I tell you, oh my God, this smells so fucking good. Oh my God. It, it's literally, you know, Lighten up my whole apartment. Like, really. Like, this little bear. It's a little bear. It's all made out of roses. All pink roses. And it smells just like roses. Like roses. And I can open it. Look at that. That is so sweet. This thing. Oh, my God. It smells like somebody just put, like, five dozen of roses in your house. No lie. I promise you. And I've had it closed in his car. And I kept saying, what is that smell? It smells so good. And he said, that's the bear. I was like, what? You smell the bear through the box? So, yeah. It says, always and forever flower bear. So, it's going to always smell good. And so, it's going to always be pretty like me. Anyway, if I don't, you know, toot my own horn, toot, toot, who else is going to? Right? So, guys, I just left the lymphatic massage. And I... I'm happy about that. Um, my next session is next week. I scheduled it for Tuesday, and I don't know why. I should have scheduled it for um, um, Friday. She asked me if I, if I could be available on Friday, and I told her, to, I said, no, give me something sooner. And so she chose um, Tuesday. But I think Tuesday is too soon, so I'm going to wait. It's once a week, so it should be Saturday, but so I'm going to take Friday. So next Friday. So I paid for another session in advance already. And um, yeah, I'm excited to get this ball rolling here. My first follow-up is tomorrow with um, Dr. Elan Singer. My first follow-up since my surgery would be tomorrow with him at 10.30 in the morning. So, I mean... I can't sit too late tonight because I'm not really going to be traveling in a car. I'll be taking a train. Because even with the pillow, I wouldn't... Even if it's the best, what do you call it, pillow, um, BBL pillow, I don't trust that on my butt. This time, I'm not letting this work go to waste. I've added a couple of pictures in um, this video so you can get to see, you know, my progress so far. Um, it's coming along nicely. It's still very, very swollen. Still got um, a lot of fluid. and But I think that it's coming along pretty good, you guys. So um, I'm excited and I'm, I'm, I'm liking what I see. I'm liking what I see. Um, yeah, so that's it. And I'm excited. But um, I'm home now. I already took my shower. And I'm going to go to sleep. I, oh, no. We stopped and got some, some food to eat. Yeah, he bought me food as well on the way home. So that was nice of him. Thanks, Aubrey. Shout out to my cousin, Aubrey. Um, and brought me a gift and brought me food and brought me home. That was really nice. That was a that was a threefer. Shoot. So thanks again, cousin. I love you. Um, yeah, um, I've already showered and changed. So I put my faha back on. Boy, I should have took my pain medicine when I was over there, but I forgot. So... Um, I'm going to eat the fast food because it is fast food and I feel fastly hungry. <laughs> I, 
I'm going to eat it, and I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to, um, no, I'm not going to go to sleep. It's Saturday. I'm going to watch a movie, then I'm going to go to sleep. Look at me. I'm already sweating because I don't have no air on in here. I turned the air off. I'm going to turn on. My titties are always sweating. God, I hate that. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Please be kind to somebody, you know. We have enough hate in the world. Let's not add any more to it. You know, we got to be nice. And there's a lot of angry people out here. I get it. I get it. I understand. This, we got bigger fish to fry. You know, we, we have a lot of more going on in our own personal lives to be worried about what the next bitch think about them. Personally, I don't give a fuck. But for those who are not as strong as I am, you know, and you need some encouragement, you come see me. You talk to me. I got you. Because there's a lot of bullies out here, especially on the internet. I don't let nobody bully me. When they bully me, I just come out stronger. You know, fuck a bitch. You don't pay my bills. You don't buy my clothes. You don't fuck me. Excuse me for my, my very straightforwardness. You don't. You don't feed me. You don't fuck me or feed me or provide for me in any type of way. So I don't give a fuck about what you say. And I expect all of my young ladies to feel that way. When somebody's trying to pick you apart and tell you, oh, this they don't like this about your body or they don't like that about this. Bitch, fuck you. That's what you say to them. They tell them, I told you, say, say KK told you. Say K Jean or KK said, fuck you, bitch. Come see her. I love y'all. Love you, ladies. Love you, gents, too. I love y'all, too. Show some support. Be a little more visible by hitting that like button. But uh, I love y'all. Ladies, stay strong. Gentlemen, protect your women. And um, everybody be kind. Talk to you later. I'm going to eat this food before it gets too cold. I love y'all.